the United States was a technologically superior nation during World War II, especially in aviation. With almost a million aircraft built globally, the United States sought to maintain its lead in emerging technology such as flying wings and jet power. The original jet-powered aircraft in U.S. history, the XP-79, was built to strike enemy bombers at great speeds without inflicting damage. Due to its unusual design and robust magnesium armor, it was able to chop off the tails and wings of opposing aircraft, leading to the moniker the Flying Chainsaw. The U.S. sought to create something novel and inventive, even though it entered the war later than other developed countries. The Messerschmitt ME-163 Comet and other German rocket-powered planes often attacked the Allied forces during World War II. Though they looked impressive, these little jets were not particularly useful. The American people were curious about when they will be able to own a little fighter jet because of the design and technology of these aircraft. On a project akin to the Northrop XP-79, the U.S. Army Air Forces collaborated with Northrop. The flying chainsaw concept, named after Jack Northrop, was supposed to slice enemy bombers open by enabling the pilot to lie down in a prone position, much like a glider. Enthusiastic in aviation, Jack Northrop started working as a draftsman for Lockheed Aircraft at the age of 21. Leading the way in the design of the Douglas Around the World Cruiser, he went on to work for the Douglas Aircraft Company. He went back to work with the Lockheed brothers in 1927, contributing as chief engineer to the development of the Lockheed Vega, a high-performing civilian transport monoplane flown by elite pilots such as Amelia Earhart and Hubert Wilkins. The aircraft firm was formed by Northrop at the age of 34. It was later renamed Northrop Aircraft Corporation and sold to the United Aircraft and Transport Corporation in 1930. As a division of Douglas, Northrop established Northrop Co. in 1932, where he served as chief engineer and helped create the BT-1 bomber and A-17 attack plane during the Great Depression. Following the incorporation of Northrop Aircraft in 1939, he went on to build the first flying wing, the M-1M, and the flying wing fighter, the XP-56. In addition, he designed the XB-79 flying wing fighter, P-61 Black Widow night fighter, and JB-10 flying bomb. Flying wing designs were Northrop's passion. He felt that a jet with a single airfoil surface would be more effective at lifting, produce, at a cheaper cost, and produce less drag. Leading American designer Jack Northrop persuaded the U.S. Army Air Forces to develop a flying wing fighter aircraft that could exceed the speed of sound in 1942. Under the codename Project 12, Northrop's program started in 1943 after the USAF granted him a contract for two prototypes. The idea was to create a 32-foot wide flying wing propelled by rockets that would require pilots to lie down prone in order to withstand greater G-forces during fast-moving maneuvers and reduce their visibility to opposing radars. The groundbreaking MX-334 fighter was intended to be tested in flight, and in order to confirm its viability, scientists needed fresh test plate prototypes. The Army Air Force labeled this component the MX-334, However, Northrop identified it as part of the MS-12 program. On October 2, 1943, the powered variant, MX-324, which had engine units positioned deep under the fuselage aft and a tricycle gear, underwent its maiden test flight. The aircraft's original designation was MS-12. Due to Aerojet's postponed rocket engine development, the XCAL-200 rocket motor, which runs on nitric acid and monoethylene line, was produced. The rocket served as helpful test vehicles even if they were insufficient for a commercial model. On June 23, 1944, the MX-324, the first rocket-powered aircraft in the United States, achieved independent flight. This demonstrated the company's participation in the initiative. A military module called the Northrop XP-79 was created to rival the German Messerschmitt ME-163 Comet. It could reach 500 miles per hour, 
was rocket-powered and needed a prone pilot in the cockpit. For the pilot's survival, the cabin was pressurized to a height of 40,000 feet. For further stability, the XP-79 featured vertical tail fins and a load-swept wing surface. With the MX-324, Aerojet was unable to overcome the limits of the XCAL 200 rocket, and Westinghouse was selected to supply new turbojet engines. Featuring an undercarriage with four landing gear legs arranged in a quad configuration and a cockpit at the center of a triangle with twin intakes for aspirating engines, the 19B aircraft could produce 1,150 pounds of thrust. The goal of the XP-79 was to crash into opposing bombers, a strategy that German aircraft had also employed. The American military desired to have this strategy in its disposal despite the mixed outcomes. Using Jet Fuel Assisted Takeoffs, or JATO, to launch swiftly and achieve peak altitude in minutes, the XP-79 was developed after testing to fly out of Allied air bases against approaching bombers. To reduce damage, the XP-79's body was plated in strong gauge magnesium armor. In order to cut through the bomber's frame and avoid much harm, the XP-79th pilot was supposed to do fast passes into enemy formations, employing strengthened wing edges. In order to protect his head, the XP-79 pilot installed bulletproof glass in the cockpit. The XP-79 was ready for a fight that was over by 1945. During the Battle of Britain, fears about Hitler's bombers peaked, but more Luftwaffe bombing units never materialized. After the German bomb threat diminished, the mission profile of the XB-79 was no longer relevant. At the Maurok Dry Lake testing site, the first flyable XP-79, serial number 43-352437, was painted white and ready for its maiden flight. Tire explosions occurred during its initial taxiing tests in June 1945. There was just one flight test for the flying chainsaw. Later, and it ended tragically. Test pilot Harry Crosby was delayed in his preparations for the aircraft's first flight on September 12, 1945, when a fire truck crossed his path. Still, as the truck was out of the way, Crosby was able to catch the throttle and power it. Following takeoff, Crosby spent 15 minutes circling the testing area to assess the XB-79's turn ability stability. The U.S. Air Force shelved the flying ram experiment when it collided with a desert floor and burst into a white-hot flare. Although Northrop experts concluded that the control issue might be resolved for the upcoming test, the project was shelved because of the possibility of more mishaps. The YB-35 and YB-49 bombers, which were intended to flying wing aircrafts, were developed using the same methods as the XP-79. Conventional jet designs were being produced, and the flying chainsaw was no longer in service. There are more than two dozen German aircraft videos available on this channel. To watch those video, click the link on the left. To watch videos about giant flying boats, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.